Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Hello, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I am a furniture flipping aficionado, and I run my own little furniture empire right here out of my home, taking pieces of furniture that are worn out or just plain outdated and giving them a whole new lease on life. Today I'm gonna to be working on a few smaller scale projects that I normally share with you guys here on the channel. These are all free curbside finds and stuff that people have given me that have just been kicking around in the garage for a little too long. And quite frankly, I'm sick of moving them out of my way. Smaller items like these usually have a smaller profit margin associated with them. So it usually makes more sense for me to collect a few of them together and flip them in a batch like this. I found this cute little pine nightstand and an adorable little accent table out at the curb at one of my neighbor's places a few weeks ago. Like I said, there's not a ton of money in these types of pieces, so I tend to avoid them when I'm shopping for pieces to flip. But that being said, they are still totally usable pieces of furniture. So if I find them for free, I am always willing to scoop them up. This little bench seat came along with a vanity that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace and turned into nightstands. I wanna paint the base of this and reupholster the top. And these two metal table bases are freebies that my sister found out at the curb and grabbed for me. Their original tops are long gone, so I'm gonna be replacing those with some more found lumber. I've already cleaned everything with some heavy duty cleaner and now I'm ready to get started by putting a few things together and taking a few things apart. Last weekend, I got my husband to cut down another freebie. The top of this old pine table will be an easy and completely free replacement for those topless tables. He just ran this through the table saw to the same measurements as the base. And now I'm using some three quarter inch screws to attach them from the bottom. This one inch board matches perfectly with the bottom shelf on these. And once everything is painted, it will be totally seamless. I unscrewed the upholster top from the stool. I'm gonna be reusing this, but covering it in some much cuter fabric. And then I also removed the door hinges and knob from the nightstand so that I can paint everything really thoroughly without getting paint on these brass hinges, which I plan on reusing. Now it's time for sanding. Since I usually use chalk style paints that have really great adhesion, I'm not sanding to help anything stick, although this doesn't hurt. I'm sanding to smooth out as much of the surface damage as I can. Painting over deep scratches and dents without filling them or buffing them out with a sander just changes the color. It doesn't make them go away. So I used a 120 grit sandpaper at first to remove enough material to get most of the damage. And then I came back with a 220 grit to smooth everything out. I used some compressed air to blow away most of my sanding dust and then a microfiber cloth to grab the rest and now I'm ready to prime. I'm actually going to try spraying my primer this time. Since this Bin Shellac based primer that I love so much requires ammonia or denatured alcohol to clean up, I've always steered clear of putting it in my gun because I don't want to have to worry about cleaning it out of there. I usually do this step with a microfiber roller. Since it's already super thin, I can spray it straight up with no thinning required. I turned all of my pieces upside down for my first coat so that I could get all the different sides of all of these legs. And then I flipped everything the right way around and sprayed another two light coats. This primer takes about 45 minutes to dry. So while it was doing its thing, I cleaned out my sprayer with some ammonia, which I do not recommend. It was not fun and I will definitely be returning to my tried and true roller method after this. I found this stunning black and white wool boucle style fabric in the scrap bin or off cuts bin at my fabric store. I think it's about a quarter of a meter and should be the perfect size for this project. I also grabbed some fresh batting for a little extra padding and cut that down to size. I tacked one side in place and then pulled everything tight on the opposite side and just started stapling back and forth, trying to keep even tension across the fabric. Once I got to the corners, I cut off all of the excess fabric and pulled everything around neatly. And as soon as I was done stapling this together, I tucked it away inside the house so that I didn't get any paint on it. 
Now that my primer is dry, I can get started on paint. For the nightstand and accent table, I'm gonna be using this linen color by House & Canvas. This is a super thick chalk style paint, so I added a little bit of water into my gun with the paint and shook it all up. I sprayed one coat again with everything flipped upside down, and then once that was dry, I turned it all over and did another two coats on top. This paint dries nice and fast, so I waited about an hour between my coats. Since I work from home and this little business of mine runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at the same time that I am trying to be mom and keep my household running, I am super grateful to have recently discovered HelloFresh and have them help me check a few dinners off of my list of things to figure out each week. I knew today was gonna be a super long and hectic day for me, so I went ahead and ordered a HelloFresh meal kit for us to have for dinner tonight. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. It also takes the stress out of meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes. The packaging that HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable or already recycled content and the pre-portioned ingredients mean that there is way less wasted food. We can add extra meals to our weekly order, throw in extra proteins or add in yummy meal compliments, and we're able to easily change our delivery days or food preferences or even skip a week whenever we need to. I also really love that HelloFresh was able to donate over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and is continuing to step up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code SALVAGED12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. After dinner, I popped back out to the garage and started spraying my top coat on these guys. I loaded up my clean gun again with some Varathane diamond wood finish in a satin sheen and sprayed two coats before calling it quits for the day. Now it's time to tackle the end tables and the stool. These are all going to get painted in black. The same process as before, I added a little bit of water to my chalk paint inside my spray gun and shook it all up. Again, one quick coat while everything is upside down and then I flipped it all the right way around and sprayed two more coats, waiting one hour for the paint to dry in between. I've been seeing a lot of comments or questions, I guess, come in about what I do with my gun in between coats of paint and if I clean it out every time and the answer is no. I just hang it up off to the side and wait for my coat of paint to dry. I only clean my gun out between products and when I'm finished the project. I let my final coat of paint dry for four hours and then I came back again with my Varathane top coat and applied two coats here as well. When I'm working with dark colors or black like this, I always like to add a little splash of my paint into the top coat to prevent any streaking or blotchiness that's really common when you're top coating dark colors. Now that everything is fully painted and protected, I can put it all back together and take some beautiful staged finish shots. These are some pretty fantastic before and afters.
Before I let you go, let's quickly talk numbers. I got all of these pieces for free. I'm about $80 in for materials and supplies to flip these guys and my selling prices will be as follows. The matching set of end tables will sell for $225. The single nightstand will be listed for $155. The accent table will sell at $125. And then the little stool or bench will be $75. Bucks. So altogether, that puts my total selling price at $580 minus my $80 worth of expenses. And that is $500 of profit in my pocket. If you love these kind of furniture flips and awesome trash to treasure stories, please make sure that you are subscribed and have the bell turned on so that you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I will catch you guys next time.